Good night, everyone. So I just felt like helping out some people here in Cyber World with logic gates. And this might be very helpful for you in your upcoming examinations, whatever you're doing, AP physics, um, CSEC physics, whatever. So we're going to do some logic gates. And it, at the high school level, we do five gates. We do the not gate, the not gate, which is known as a converter. And the NOT gate basically has one input and one output. So this is a NOT gate. And then we have the AND gate. The AND gate has two inputs and one output. So it says this is an AND. The NAND gate is not an AND gate. And is an AND gate that's attached to a NOT gate and so we call it a NAND gate but the symbol for this the overall symbol for this what you would see in your book is this <coughs> you will see the symbol right here like a nipple you can remember the non, the NOT AND gate is carrying a nipple and so it has one output so you have two inputs and one output, okay? Then we have the next gate. So this is gate one, gate two, gate three. We have the fourth gate, which we call the R gate. It also has two inputs, but it's, it has a different shape. So this is the R gate. Then we have the NAR gate. The NAR gate it's just like the NAND gate, it's not an R gate because I, I have trouble drawing these all the time. Hmm. But once it resembles what you want it to resemble, you'll be fine. So this is an R gate with a knot attached to the R gate. And what you would see in your text, what's the standard drawing for this, would be the R gate and then you have a nipple on top. And again, it has two inputs and one output. Okay? Now, each of these have something called a truth table. And the truth table signify whether something be on or off. So, it's these are all binary gates, right? They use binary information. So, we have here, this represents um, low or off. And this represents high are uh, on okay so we have the low or the off or the high or the, or the on so zero or one and each of these gates have their own truth table so like i said the not gate is called the converter right so since it's a converter we have the input and we have the output the input, if the input at A is 0, the output will be 1. If the input at A is 1, it will be 0. And that's it. Now, how do you know how many outcomes? How do you work out your outcomes? It's pretty easy. Since this is binary, we know we're going to work with number 2. And since the input here is 1, we raise it to 1. And so we know we're going to have 2 outcomes. Okay? So this represents the number of uh, the number of inputs, which is this. So this has one input on the gate, number of inputs on gate, right? And because we're using binary, we put the number two here. Now the AND gate, AND gate, we record that we we refer to that as a multiplier. I say multiplier simply because it's not really a multiplier, but I say multiplier so that I'll be able to work out my truth table because you don't really want to be relying on your memory. You want to understand how to work out the truth table. So for the AND gate now, you work out your inputs. And for your input, you have two. So you have A and B. 
Then you have your output, which we wrote as y. You always want to start with 0, 0. Now we want to work out our outcomes. How many outcomes do they have here? So we know we start with the number 2, and we count the number of inputs here, and we have 2. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we're going to have 4 outcomes. How are we going to work out our outcomes? So we always start with 0. Just take up here, we started with 0. So 0, and we just keep adding 1. So if you add 1 in binary, 0 plus 1, 1, and you bring down the 1, 0. So you have 0, 1. You add 1 again. So I'm going to put an arrow by all of our outcomes that we want. Add 1 again. 0, 1 plus 1 is 10. So you carry the 1 here and bring the 1 here. That's another outcome. <coughs> So put an arrow here. So this is our first outcome, second outcome, third outcome. And then we want our final outcome, 0 plus 1, 1. And bring the 1. So this is our final outcome because we only have four outcomes. Like I said, the AND gate is referred to as the multiplier. So we know 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 will be 0, and 1 times 1 will be 1. So this will be our output. Okay? So this is our not, not true table. So these are our true tables. And this is a not, and this is our and. And now for the nand, the nand true table would be the opposite of what the and was. Okay, so we have A and we have B. These are our inputs. And it's going to be the same. Once the inputs are the same, we're going to have the same thing, the same set of outcomes uh, in the truth table. So once you know how to work your outcomes, you're good. And so since this is a NAND truth table, it will be opposite of the AND. So if 0 times 0 gives you 0 for AND gate, it will not give you a 0. It will give you a 1. If 0 times 1 gives you 0 for an AND gate, it will not give you a 0 for an AND. It will be, it'll be a 1. And so it will be the opposite. See, 0 will be 1, and then this would be 0. Okay, so it's the opposite. Now we're going to work out our R. I call the R table, the R um, gate, a addition gate. Right? It works well up until you come to the one-to-one. -one. So again, we're going to do the input, and then we have here the output. We have A, B, and we have Y. The same things because we have two inputs here. And we add in. So for the R gate, this is our R truth table. 0 plus 0 will give you 0. 0 plus 1 will give you 1. 1 plus 0 will give you 1. And we know 1 plus 1 gives us 2, but in this case, you're going to just act like uh, 1 plus 1 will give us 1. Or you could do it like this. Nothing from nothing gives you nothing. Something from nothing will give you something. Something from nothing will give you something. And something from something will give you something. So either which way is fine. Now, in this table, this is the NAR gate. A, B, and Y. Same outcome. And it's going to be 4, same way. And you just do the opposite. So if with an R gate, nothing from nothing gives you nothing, it will give you something for the NAR gate. And if something from nothing gives you something, it will give you nothing for the NAR gate. Same goes here. And something from something gives you something, but it will give you the opposite, which is nothing for the NAR gate. Okay? So, this is how you work out your truth tables for logic gates. And uh, I quite possibly could do um, maybe a little setup, a circuit, including logic gates. And we're going to work out the outcomes. Okay? So, let's see. Okay, so here we have um, two different circuits using logic gates. 
and we're first going to put the names of the not logic gates next to them so that we don't make mistakes. Here we have the not, and we have the R, and we have an and. Okay, so in this particular setup, we have two inputs. So if we have two inputs, we raise it to the power of two, two times two equal to four. So we're gonna have four outcomes, okay? So remember we're doing binary, and this is the amount of inputs, number of inputs. And this will give us the number of outcomes. So we now see that with the input, we have A and B. And with the output, we have, we, they didn't give us any letters, so we know this is an, we have, Input. Oh, so we have here an output at x. Right. And so whatever b is, we'll go to r, and then we have another output here. Right. Okay, so let's start now. So we have x and y. B doesn't go through any other gate but the R. So whatever B is, we're going to use it with X to solve Y. So we know we have four outcomes. How do we figure that out? We always start with zeros. So we put the zeros here, and we're supposed to have four outcomes. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And we just keep adding one. So that's outcome number one. Keep adding one. And here we have two, outcome number two. So we have zero, one. And then we add one again. That will give us ten. And so we have um, outcome number three. And pretty much like um, the actual truth table. And we have outcome number four. One, one. Great. So for x, we know that x is the outcome is the output from a not gate which we see as a converter so whatever comes out of the not gate whatever comes out of the not gate will be the opposite so if you have a we're going to do we're going to look at what is the input at a and we're going to do the opposite at x so if you have zero the not gate will convert that to a one zero one one zero one zero so it's converted now we have here x and b. So b and x are the two inputs coming through the R gate, which is the output at y. So since these are the signals going through the R gate, we know the R gate is seen as the addition gate. So we know that 0 plus 1 will give you 1. 1 plus 1 will give you 1. Or something from something will give you something. And 0 plus 0 will give you 0, and nothing from nothing will give you nothing. And then something from nothing will give you something. And so that will be our output at y. Let's try this one now. So here again, we raise this to the power of 3 inputs. We have 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 outcomes. Okay, so now we separate and we have the input. And we have the outputs. For the input, we know we have A, B, and C. A, B, C. And we have eight outcomes. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we start with zeros, and we just keep adding. So we have zero, zero, zero. This is the first outcome. We just add a one, and one zero zero. Okay, that's the second outcome. We add a one again. So this is our third outcome. We add a one again. We 
Add a one again. We add one again. Add one again. And then we add one again. Okay, that's our eighth outcome. Okay, so that's how you do it. You just keep adding one so you can figure it out. And remember, binary, so you raise it to the number of inputs. Now, our output, we have, I'm going to just call this X. I'm going to call this Y. I'm going to call it Z. So, output here is a converter. So, remember the NOT gate is a converter. So we'll convert whatever is in A to the opposite. So put X here. So if it's 0, it's going to be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's just the opposite. Now for Y, Y is the output of an AND gate. So we're going to pick B and C. So whatever being input at B and C, we use the operation for the AND gate. Remember the AND gate is seen as a multiplier. So we know 0 times 0 give you 0. 0 times 1 give you 0. 1 times 0 give you 0. 1 times 1 give you 1. 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. Okay? So good. And then now at Z, we take in X and Y, whatever the outputs were at X and Y. And we're going to an R gate, which is known as the addition gate. We're going to just apply addition. So you know, 1 plus 0 will give you 1. 1 plus 0 will give you 1. 1 plus 0 will give you 1. And something from something will give you something. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. And 0 plus 1, 1. And that would be our outcome. Guys, I really hope this helps. And at least it brings some light into the dark tunnel. Alright, so good night. And see you around next time.